Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Pizza Hut Musaris for Coach's Corner West. It's our first show of the season. It's all cross country tonight. We've had the privilege of talking with both Musaris and Winford. And our next stop is up in Dutchtown with Buckeye Central. It's Coach uh, Thad Metzger and everybody from the Buckeye Central Bucks. We'll be talking some cross country here in just one moment. Our show brought you in part on the WQEL Facebook page by Adam Weisner and everybody at Advanced Fiber Technology. Coach Jim Plumley, Mohegan Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation. Also Matt Studer at Spitzer Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Kia, just a mile east of the Richland Mall. Rock West Edgefield Animal Clinic in Marion. Matt Ramsey, John Sigler, Drew Young, Frank Highland, and everybody at Cyrus Blade serving worldwide markets since 1951 and Roger Brown at Winks Lock and Safe, South Poplar Street in West Warren, Usaris. Coach Thad Metzger is with us right now. Coach, how many years have you been doing this now? Oh, I, my, my first, let's see, my first group uh, cross country was actually my youngest sister. She just, just got married um, recently, so it's, it's, been all now. it's been about a decade. Actually. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. I'm a head coach for cross country, that is. Yeah. All right. A little bit longer for track. All right, so you've been, you've been involved with it. Total numbers of boys and girls across country at the uh, High School. So we have total, we have about 18. It's, That's it's good. It's going to be about six, six, and I think we'll actually, so we'll have enough for a junior high girls team this year, and then uh, one other junior high boy. But we haven't had a junior high team in over five years. But now we've got a junior high team. Yeah, so the girls. Would That's got to make you feel good for the future. That's good, yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice to see. So boys as opposed to girls, about equal? Yeah, on the high school side, it's pretty equal. Um, year, years past, we've had larger girls' size or, you know, teams, but uh, uh, this year it's looking like it's going to be about six and six. We've been, past couple years, we've graduated a few, uh, so we, you know, our numbers are down slightly in high school because of that, I think, but also, you know, there's obviously more than one of favorite group. Are, are some of these kids returning? Letter of winners. Yeah, we're on the young side. We don't have any seniors. Okay. Uh, so there's there's on each side girls and guys. We've got uh, a few returning and then a few newbies. We know. got some new faces involved yeah, in this. Yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to seeing them all when we start practicing this week. Coach, you you, you, you teach in the system? I don't not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. Not, what what do you are you associated so, with the system at all? Um, I mean, I'm around for, for track season as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My, my, I guess my question is, you, you get a chance to get in the school to recruit from the hallways. Um, not as much as I'd like to. Yeah, I try to get over there when there's different events going on and whatnot. Um, I've got my, my own kids that I try to get over there for different other sporting events as well. Basketball season, we see a lot of faces over there. So many of the advantages of being across country. Let's say, for example, I'm not 73 years old anymore. <laughs> and that uh, I weigh about 150 pounds less than what I do right now. And there's an opportunity to run cross country. What, what, what's, what's the unique selling proposition? I mean, I, I like having kids on the team that are, are willing to work hard, but have fun doing it. You know, there's a lot of fun characters on the team and, and we, we have a good time together. We try to do some other things through the year, you know, cookouts and whatnot, just to make it a fun family team atmosphere. Talk to me a little bit about practice now. Our legal practice starts a week from today, right? Correct. All right. Have, we, have, have our cross country runners been doing some time on the streets of New Washington and in rural uh, uh, New Washington? Yeah, some, some more than others. It, it's, it's hard to, to get all the schedules together, too. There's different ones that when we do conditioning, they work. So we try to get some on their own. And, and then and there's a few others that are, you know, they'll be there when they have to be on August 1st. Um, and okay. we'll, we'll get the miles to start getting the miles then. Legal practice is next Monday. How will that differ from the running that they're doing right now? Well, I mean, the biggest part is actually seeing everybody at once. So okay. I think right now in the conditioning, it's, it's hit or miss. You know, you, any given night, who will be there? Um, but more more of them have been, we've been communicating. And yeah, I'll be there next week. You know, I'll clear my work schedule or whatnot. So it'll be just good to get everybody together and running together. Because then, then you really start to see them pushing each other and having more fun. And, it's just it's a better time when you have the team there. We're going to break for a second. We're going to come back and talk to these young people around the table. That comes up in just a moment. Our broadcast coverage brought to you in part by the Burkhart family at Burkhart Farm Sales, your case IH dealer on the Manette Winchester Road. Rod Steiger and everybody at Pizza Hut 
He's Cyrus and Gallion, the host of The Coach's Show since 1992. Also, Vince Ponziani and everybody at Weight Rack Industries. We're also brought in part by North Central State College Mansfield and the Crawford Success Center in Bucyrus. Hannah Newton at Wendy's, Bucyrus and Upper Sandusky, and Lee Plymouth and Brad Seibert at the Plymouth Insurance Group, Bucyrus and Gallion. Going around the table right now, first is Noah Wilson sitting right next to me. Noah, great day, buddy. Uh, I'm going to be a junior. You're a junior, so we still got a while to worry about uh, doing college and that kind of stuff, right? So what brought you to cross country? Why are you going for Why are you running cross country as opposed to other sports for sure? Um, well, it really interests me uh, with all the hard work you have to put in and the result that you get out of it. All right. And the coaches uh, were very friendly and kind of enticed me to go in for it. How long have you been doing cross country? Since eighth grade. Eighth grade? Uh, other sports besides cross country? Basketball and track. Basketball and track. Now, I, I like the relationship between track, obviously, and cross country. But talk a bit about the relationship between these two sports and basketball. So, uh, both of the running sports definitely help with basketball because there's a lot of running up and down the court and sure. speed and shape. Right. In fact, I have had the opportunity to talk to some basketball coaches, and usually your first few practices in basketball season have nothing to do with shooting the ball. Has to do with running around the gym, right? Yep. You probably got to step up on it, don't you? It, it works, works out really good. Listen, buddy, talk to me a little bit about some of the goals you have for this year. Uh, so uh, my time, I would like to get under 17 minutes this year, and uh, for the team, I would honestly like to make it to regionals. All right. Good. I hope you achieve that goal. Up next is Lucas Cyanifor. I got it. All right, Lucas, what grade are you in, buddy? I'm going to be a sophomore. Sophomore. All right, Lucas, talk to me a little bit about why you chose cross country. Well, I first joined cross country when I was entering sixth grade, and right. I saw it on the list of activities that you can do. All right. And I thought it was very interesting running around, you know, different areas, competing right. with others, and I just really liked that. I got into it, and I. I've stayed with that ever since. Other sports besides cross country? Not other sports. No other? Now why not track? Well, I'm going to, I'm speaking up for your coach here because I, you, you want him to track, don't you? Yeah, we, we well, talked to recruit you right now. Buddy. Why not track? What are you doing in the spring? You better have a damn good excuse. What are you doing in the spring that, that, that uh, would keep you from running? Well, I do other activities such as the musical in the spring. Okay. All right, he's doing some other things out of there. And, uh, you know, and, I, and, and I, don't, I would have forgiven the job as well. You know, working is a good thing. To, coach, or, or, young man, talk to me a little bit about some of the goals you have for yourself this year. Well, some of my goals are to become faster. Sure, obviously. Um, and to get a better time, to, you know, get healthier. And, you know, I like running. So. All right, do you, do you foresee maybe an opportunity to advance into the regionals or something like that? I've been thinking about it. Um, I'll try to train harder this year, and so I'll really try to. All right. Good for you, buddy. I appreciate you stopping by. Next up is Faye Betts. Faye, you, you're going to have to speak up a little loud for me right now. What grade are you in, Faye? I'll be a junior. You're a junior, you're a junior so you're in 11th grade. And Faye, talk to me a little bit about why you chose cross country. I didn't really want to do volleyball anymore, so, and my sister. Ran cross country, so I was like, oh, I'll just go to cross country. Go cross country. Other sports besides cross country? Softball. Softball, so you're doing something in the spring. There's nothing wrong with that. Talk to me a little about some of the goals you have for yourself this year. Um, it's a pretty big goal, but I kind of wanted to beat my mom's indoor. Okay, what was your mom's? It was and how long, how long ago was she in school? A while ago. A while ago? 1940 or? Uh, yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Uh, how long ago? When she graduated? I don't know. You don't really know. Okay. All right. Well, let me talk, talk to me a little bit. And she, she was in cross country. Yeah, she was. And you're going to want to beat her numbers, huh? Yeah. Is there anything on the table, or, you know, like any bets or anything like that? No. Okay. Well, you, so you just want to beat her number, all right? All right. She wants you to know when she graduated, too. You can find that out tonight. So talk to me a little bit about uh, goals such as regionals or anything like that. If 
my baby and I make it? Yeah, well, you know, you made me beat my arms right here. Maybe yeah. you can do that. Talk to me a little bit about uh, other sports. Talk about that, other sports. Um, cross country kind of helps with softball. Softball? Yeah, yeah, I think you did say yeah. that. So, so that's, that's cool. Well, listen, I appreciate you stopping by. You did a great job. Thank you so much. We're going to break for a second, come back, and talk to Coach Metzger a little bit about some of the things coming up for the cross country team. Broadcast coverage brought to you by Lou Anne Krebs and Rivers Edge Embroidery, screen printing and signs, Route 309, right across from the Marion Depot. Also brought to you by Dr. Erica Schumer at Osiris Veterinary Service, 222 West Mary Street, Osiris. Dr. Thomas M. Britton at Club View Vision Center. Mike Klein at Ag Credit Residential Lending, Osiris, Mount Gilead, and Marion. Also, the Ohio State University Marion. A Big Ten education close to home. Ken Coder, Monarch Body Shop in Washington. Life Freely, Todd McDougall, Freely and Company Insurance up in New Washington as well. Coach Metzger, let's talk about, well, let's see, next Monday starts the official practice. When's the first meet against who and where? It's basically it's three weeks later. Um, so it's the, the 22nd. Basically, the, when we can officially have feet, that's what we do, actually. We go to the one at North, North Moore. North Moore hosts a, an early bird invitational type thing. Where, I think it's ours. Yeah, it's ours. Sorry, I mentioned they are going. Yeah, we'll see, we see them there and some other local teams. And um, It's a different mix over over there. But it's, it's, it's nice. How many teams are going they usually have about like a dozen teams, but there's a couple teams that are bigger, uh, so it's it's nice. Yeah, it's nice mix to start the season. It's a, it's a different course, kind of a little bit of everything. It's challenging, so yeah. Are you are you working on uh, the concept of recruiting more kids into this program? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's we'll take we'll take people. You know, even as we're starting things you know, a few weeks in, we'll take them and, and gladly and you know get a few weeks of practice in before they would compete in meets. We're going to have a lot of our matches, multi-team matches where you have these duels, maybe like the North Pole match where you have somewhere around a dozen. Yeah, yeah, that's, we, we have a handful of them there in that, that range, that 12 to 14 uh, schools, and then some, a few big ones we go to as well. So. I understand there is a league uh, cross country match, is that that's true? Yes. Yeah. All right, yeah. and how about a county event? Yeah, yeah, we'll get the county as well. It's always kind of, it's nice and small county meet, so the kids have a good time you know, competing against people they see um, in other sports as well, and, and competing and then we sometimes have cousins and stuff like that. Exactly, yeah. it's nice. Then we have pizza afterward, you know, so it's All right. pizza kind of nice for the county. All right. Well, listen, buddy, I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for sharing with us. Good, good and young people. Good luck this season on the uh, cross country course, and we hope you have a great season. Our broadcast coverage on uh, the WQL Facebook page brought to you part by Adam Weisner and the Associates at Advanced Fiber Technology, Coach Tim Plumley, Mohegan Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation, and Matt Studer at Spitzer Pfizer Dodge, Jeep Ram Kia. This is David Jones on behalf of all of our guests from Osiris, Woodford, and Buckeye Central. We appreciate you listening in on the WQL Facebook page, and we'll catch you next Monday evening right here at Pizza Osiris for Coaches Corner West.